Hi there, welcome to episode 291 of the Mike for Main Show. My name is Mike Thomas. Today I'm gonna to get right into it and we're gonna be doing a review of Webinar Ignition. Now this won't just be a general review. I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna take you under the hood and create a webinar so you can actually see everything uh, in, in process and how it all works. Now I'm not gonna go through every single little aspect of creating it as that is all explained in the videos uh, once you buy the product, but I'm gonna show you the important aspects so that you can make an informed decision if you do decide to buy this. Now, let's take a quick look at the sales page here and look at the basic features that this has. Uh, you'll see here that it has a customizable registration, confirmation, live and replay pages. Basically, this means that you can have everything all set up inside of your WordPress plugin. And that's what this is gonna be working on. It's gonna be working on your WordPress website so you can have complete control of everything. Uh, live video feed integration. Most of you are gonna be using Google Hangouts for this example today. I'll also be creating a, an example Google Hangout. Uh, email and text message reminders. You'll be able to send out reminders uh, from your autoresponder. Uh, also, there's a texting service that you can use if you wanna send someone a text right to their cell phone to remind them about the webinar. Uh, Q&A, chat integration, you can have it so that there is just a text box for people to write in questions, or you can also have it so that there is live chat. Both options are completely free. Uh, sales and conversion tracking. This is a really cool aspect of this that I really like, is you can see uh, how many people signed up for your webinar, you can see uh, how many people actually came, and you can also see how many people have bought live during the webinar. So let's say you've gone and said, okay, everyone, you know, the, the cart's open, go ahead and buy, and you notice no one's buying, uh, you, you're gonna have to change your pitch a little bit and make sure that you are staying on the call and answering people's questions and trying to take away that friction that's stopping them from buying. And of course, there's no monthly fees, so you're not gonna be paying the $500 a month fees that some other uh, companies are, are charging for you to do webinars. This is a great way for you to, to do your own live webinars. Uh, most of the time with live webinars, they convert much higher than any of the other uh, just videos or uh, normal sales pages out there. Uh, up to 30%, I've heard, maybe even more. Um, you can automate them so that if you want them to be going on even without you being there, you can do that. Uh, you can build your email list with this. It's a great way to add new leads to your list. And they have the live console. I'll be showing you all of this in this review. Uh, other features, it integrates with all the different uh, autoresponder companies. It can connect with Facebook. Uh, you can use the different video embed. You can use uh, Google Hangouts, Livestream, Ustream. Uh, I'm not familiar with these other ones as far as I've never used them before. I have used Google Hangouts and it's free. So that's really great. You can customize everything. Uh, and he's got some live demos set up. I'm gonna make my own just to show you how easy it is. Uh, you can have add to calendar aspects, uh, viral sharing. I mean, really, it's, it's got everything in here that you, you would want for your webinars. I'm, I'm impressed. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you everything that impresses me. I'm also gonna show you things that don't impress me as well. So I'm gonna pause this here and we're gonna get right into creating a webinar. Okay, so right now I'm signed in on the, the back end and I'm in mikeformain.com. Uh, right here, we've got Webinar Ignition as a plugin. I'm gonna create a new webinar. So right here, I'm gonna give my webinar a name. Uh, let's see. Webinar Ignition Review. And over here, I'm just gonna give it that same title. Uh, name of the host, Mike Thomas. Mike from Maine. And the date, let's say that it's happening on January uh, 7th. I'm just gonna put a, a random time in there. And I'm gonna put in my time zone. Uh, I don't wanna, it's, it's seeing me as Eastern European, but I'm gonna put in, just so as everyone knows, uh, Eastern Standard Time is the normal one for that. So I put that in there. Uh, the type of webinar I want it to be is a live webinar. 
uh, an evergreen webinar, that's one that's going to go on forever and you can always, uh, it's like an auto webinar, but I don't want to do that. I, I prefer live webinars. So I'm going to create that, saving it. And now we're in the area with all these different things, all these different options that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, geez, all, all this stuff. And really, as, as a negative, like that, that could overwhelm you a bit, but basically everything's all set up to go. But for people out there that want to kind of tweak things and change it around a bit, it has a lot of different options. But for today's example, I'm not going to worry about all the different options. I just want to get a webinar up and running uh, as quickly as possible. So just to give you an overall uh, understanding of this area right here, this is your master switch. This is really important. This is where you can do the, uh, the countdown, uh, live, replay, and closed. So this link right here, let's take a look at that. This link right here is the uh, sign up page for the webinar that's coming. So uh, it says here that the, the countdown is, is going on for the webinar. So that's that page. Now, if we change it to live, that's just going to change it so that the webinar is, is uh, alive for everyone to visit now. Um, the link stays the same. You'll never change the link. So let's say someone comes to that link, uh, you send them an email about the webinar and they come to it later on, it's still going to be the same place. You don't have to worry about sending out different links. Uh, replay, once you click that, that's going to change it so that it's a replay page. Of course, you need to, every time you would need to uh, save this, but um, here we go, save an update up here, and then you can close it. So I'm going to go through all these individual pages and show you how they work. You can also see here the total views and unique views for people that have visited your registration page, your thank you page, preview countdown page, preview webinar page, and preview replay page. So there's lots of different things here, but this is your main uh, console for seeing all, all of that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to now show you the, the live console. And this is where you're going to see uh, on, your, on your webinar how many people are live on it, how many people have registered, how many people have bought it. Uh, and you can do that by putting in a special code, uh, questions that people have asked, and questions that are still active that you haven't answered also has an on-air message here where you can type in uh, a, a buy now, like an order now button. Uh, you can manage questions here. P questions will pop up here as people ask them and you can manage your uh, registrants. So you can see who's, who's come in, who's ordered, uh, and, and who's, uh, who's a hot lead, who's someone that has, has attended but maybe hasn't bought. So there's lots of stuff going on here. I know it can seem a little bit complicated in the beginning, but once you really understand it, if you just take half an hour and go over it, you'll understand, especially with the training videos that Mark has. Here's the de design template area. You can choose from three different designs. Registration page. This is where you can go through all these different options to uh, design how you want your registration page to be. Thank you page, the same. You can, you can change it up as much as you want. Live webinar page, again, you can make it exactly how you want it. Webinar replay, notifications, and extra settings. So this is all stuff that's explained in the tutorial videos, but I just wanted to give you an idea of all the different options that are available. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this and start creating a webinar. Okay, when you're setting up your webinar, this is what your page is gonna look like just out of the box. So this is my registration page where I'm trying to get people to sign up for the webinar. Of course, it doesn't have a video in here yet. Uh, it doesn't have anything special here. Uh, so, and of course, this right here isn't set up to an autoresponder yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that up really quickly and show you just how quickly I can make it look really nice. Okay, so now what I've done is really quick. I've gone in and set everything up. Uh, it took me, a, because it was my first time doing it, it took me about 15 minutes. Now that I know how to do it, I could definitely set it up in under 10. It's that easy to do. So let's take a look here. Uh, if you look at the 
registration page. Now this is the page you're going to send everyone to for your Hi webinar. There, this is Mike Thomas from Just Mike got a quick Mike little Thomas. video that I made discussing the uh, what the webinar was going to be about. A little bit about myself, uh, some information down here, and the form here that's integrated with my autoresponder. I, I set all that up so that when people actually opt in here, it's going to go to this page right here where it's the congratulations page, the thank you page for it. And people can mark their calendars, they can sign up for a text message, uh, and they've also got the link for the webinar here. Now, we look over here, this is the actual webinar page that I have set up. It's gonna have uh, social sharing buttons, uh, it's gonna have my information here and, and question box. Of course, this is all, you can, you can change all this as well. It's all customizable. Um, let's get that webinar it's just kind of a quick one set up so you can see uh, how it works what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to where i've set up the hangout i'm going to start it start broadcast And right now the broadcast is live. So there's actually one person watching. Hello there, person watching. Uh, so we're, we're live on here. I'm gonna go over to my core training area. Oh, sorry, not my core training area, my uh, dashboard. So right here, live on my dashboard, I can see what's going on here. If we go back over to the actual webinar area, this should, let's see if I hit play here, we should be able to see it live and there i am right uh, now the broadcast is uh, a minute live. ago so uh, going live watching. so i can pause that now but you'll see that that actually uh, there's a little bit of a delay there so uh, if you are if you have this open while you're doing your webinar then you, you really can't do that at the same time you can't have your your video running or it's gonna the audio is gonna go over what you're doing so right now my i'm actually recording this live i can go over and I can look on my console, and right now we actually don't have anyone live on the webinar page. Uh, we've had five people register, no orders, darn. And let's do an on-air message. So what I'm gonna do here is I can put something up where it's gonna have a, uh, a buy button, and or you could just say like, uh, this is a, a great time to buy. So you have that come up, uh, you have an order button uh, come up. So this is what it's gonna say, like click here to download your copy, buy now. And then you'd have the URL to the uh, place that you would want them to go to when they order. And you can save that and that will come right up on your, on your webinar. Questions here, these are the questions that are coming in. Uh, you can answer them there. So let's say we, we've gone through the webinar and it's over and we've, we've finished up, I can go back over to here, oh, where is it, here it is, back over here, and we would stop the broadcast. So the, I'm no longer recording, close that up. Now what's gonna happen is this is automatically going to be sent to my YouTube account, and that's where I can put it in so that you can set up your, uh, your replay uh, this is my webinars over page where you can set up your replay and whatnot. So that's pretty much how the whole product works. I mean, you can see that there is a small learning curve when getting started. And if it was really easy, then everyone would be doing it and it wouldn't make it uh, as valuable. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. I would give yourself uh, an hour to sit down and go through the tutorials uh, go through the instructions. Don't just try to jump in because you're going to miss some important things that you're not going to realize uh, are out there. And so that would be, I guess the, the negative aspect would be that it's going to take an hour, but most of us know that if you want to learn something, you, you need to take a little time to do it. Positive aspects is it's going to be much cheaper than trying to do anything out there that's going to cost 500 bucks for a, uh, for a webinar. Uh, product uh, webinar service to do every month and yeah so that's my my review of how this works let's just take a look again at the uh, we've got the registration page 
We've got the thank you page, we've got your webinar page that people will be seeing, and we've got your uh, webinars over page, and, and things that I didn't even go over were the evergreen uh, webinars and the fact that you can just have these going on autopilot whenever you want. I hope that that was a good example for you to kind of get a feel of how this product works. And I look forward to uh, hearing your, your comments. You can put comments below the review on mikeformain.com or you can email me. I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you're interested in buying, go to mikeformain.com slash webinar ignition. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.